All right. So there are a lot of people who are suspecting that we are getting closer and closer to the Antichrist reveal because we see a lot of corruption running rampant throughout our world. And then there are other people who argue that the Antichrist is already here because we see its spirit at work in our society. Absolutely. I believe that as well. So I wanted to do this video today because I saw a video by Lion of Judah, which is a prominent Christian channel, and they made a lot of really good points in that video about what the Antichrist will do in 2024. But I want to expound on those points as they directly relate to the year 2024. And some people may be wondering why the year 2024? If you are somebody who's into biblical numbers, you know that there is significance in numbers. And the year 24 in particular, two plus four is six. What is six? It's the number of man. And if you look at Revelations 13, 18, 666 is the number of the beast. So that is why I believe the year 24 has a lot of significance. Now, they made four points about what the Antichrist will do in 2024, and I want to get into those four points individually. So let's take a look at the first point. One, there will be a clear acceleration in the rejection of truth and an acceptance of darkness. In the past 15 years, we have seen a clear acceleration in rejection of truth. And this will only continue in 2024. The spirit of the Antichrist at its core is against truth. Jesus Christ is truth. Jesus Christ is light. And we can see tides shifting in this world, more and more as people are no longer accepting absolute truth. We are living in a world where people love darkness. Look at the nonsense being accepted in the world today. That is not natural. It's almost as if common senses is not common anymore. Everyone has their own truth. And this will continue. We are living in a world that is in La La Land. A world where some people have rejected reality and have decided to live in their own reality. So absolutely. There are people out there who are rejecting absolute truth, but then there are also people who are divided on what the truth is because we're seeing so much division being sown in our media. And just as I talked about in a different video, we need to, all of us, including me, we need to humble ourselves and come to the understanding that we could be wrong about certain things so that we all can come to what the ultimate truth actually is. Because once the Antichrist does reveal itself in the flesh, then we as the children of God, especially, we are going to have to be on the same page. We are going to have to be on one accord if we are to defeat that spirit. Two, preparation for worship of a man. The conditioning of people to follow and worship a charismatic leader or figure will continue to escalate in the coming years, including in 2024. When the Antichrist arrives, it will not take him decades to be revered and worshipped. Right now, the hearts of men and women across the globe are being subtly persuaded by the spirit of the Antichrist to place their trust and allegiance in human man rather than in God. People have the mistaken perception that when the Antichrist arrives, he will have to overhaul the world and shift the way the world operates drastically. But that's not the case. When the Antichrist emerges and takes center stage in society, the world will already be primed for him. So as they talk about in the video, the world is already going to be primed for the Antichrist. And we see that conditioning happening right before our eyes every day and it's increasing more and more every year. And when we're talking about the spirit of the Antichrist and how there will be a lot of people who readily accept this figure, why would people readily accept the spirit of the Antichrist? Because they are looking for hope. They want a figure they have tangible access to. And when we're talking about God, we know we have access to God through the Holy Spirit in prayer. And to some people that may not feel accessible enough because you can't physically touch it. You can't actually hear the voice of God. But when the Antichrist comes, you're going to have this person 
who presents themselves well, they are going to present themselves as somebody who is going to get rid of corruption. They are going to present themselves as a savior. And you're going to have people fall for it because they can see and touch this person in the flesh. And there may be some people wondering, is Trump the Antichrist? Is QAnon the Antichrist? There are other people who wonder if Andrew Tate is the Antichrist. And I don't believe those people are the Antichrist. I do believe that God is using those people in a certain way. And that may make some people mad hearing that because you're like, no, God is not using that person. Uh Uh-uh. But when you think about the Bible and you think about, I I love to use this person as an example because they are the ultimate example. When you think about David in the Bible and his story about how he literally had a man taken out so that he could be with that man's wife. And God, despite his sin, God used David in an extraordinary way. So I believe today God is still able to use flawed people in a significant way. And it's not to say that they are perfect. And I believe that God himself chooses flawed people so that we are reminded who the ultimate savior is. And that is God himself. Three. The Antichrist spirit will move the world closer to the acceptance of the mark. The concept of the mark of the beast, as mentioned in the book of Revelation, is a haunting reminder of the depths of deception that the spirit of Antichrist can achieve. While we cannot predict the exact form this mark will take, societal trends suggest that people may become increasingly accustomed to the idea of accepting a mark or system that grants them access to goods, services, and privileges. This gradual acceptance can make individuals more susceptible to compromising their faith and allegiance to Christ for the sake of convenience and worldly gain. Revelation 13, 16 to 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. For generations, scholars, theologians, and saints in God have pondered over this prophecy, considering it as a distant scenario in an unimaginable future. However, with the rate of technological advancement and societal shifts we're witnessing today, this prophecy seems less like a far-off vision and more like a looming reality. The world has never been so primed technologically and socio-politically for these events to transpire. So today it does not seem so far-fetched to think that there will come a time where people will have a literal chip implanted inside of them. And I used to hear about this happening when I was a little kid and I was just like, well, why would people do that? Why would people do that knowing what we know right now? We're already talking about it. We already know the negative effects of that. Why would people do that in the future? And it's very clear to me now why people would choose to go that route. And we already see the spirit of the Antichrist happening everywhere in TV, films, schools, the medical industry, and relationship dynamics in our society. We see the spirit just rampant. With everything going on in our world, they are preparing for this mark because it will help you to overcome a lot of the struggles you're dealing with. If you're thinking about a lot of people who are struggling mentally, anxiety, depression, hopelessness, you can have a chip implanted inside of your mind that will help you to not have those feelings. And it's the same thing with people who are struggling with physical ailments. We saw 
I briefly showed a clip of this. And at some point I want to do a video on this, but I briefly showed, I believe it was an article of a man who was paralyzed, but he had a chip implanted inside of his brain. So now he was able to drive. And you're going to start to see more and more of that where people who couldn't do certain things, when they get the chip, they will be able to do the things they were ne never able to do. And what this technology is going to be marketed as making our lives a lot easier. Cleaning robots. You are going to have interactive technology. And in addition to that, you are going to be able to become one with your technology. And this is why they need to amp things up when it comes to the bandwidth of our technology. In the year 2024, they want to expand to 5G Advanced. And what does that mean? So 5G Advanced is a way to dramatically improve the network performance to support AI on a massive scale. So starting in the year 2024, they want to have enough bandwidth in order to sustain this kind of technology. And we already have technology such as RFID, near field communication, and Palm Pay. And with Palm Pay, Amazon is saying that that technology will be in all Whole Foods stores by the year 2024. So probably in early 2024, we're going to see Palm Pay pretty much in every store and not just with Amazon and Whole Foods, you're going to start to see this technology expand to other stores and in multiple countries. Four, the increase in sin and lawlessness. In biblical prophecy, one of the titles that stands out prominently is the man of lawlessness. This description provides insight into the character and nature of an end time figure who stands in stark opposition to the divine order and God's law. This title paints a picture of a person who embodies chaos, rebellion, and a blatant disregard for righteousness. The man of lawlessness is, in many interpretations, synonymous with the Antichrist, a figure prophesied to emerge in the end times, leading the world astray with his deceit and charisma. So basically what they're saying here is that this Antichrist figure will be a person of lawlessness, but they will be very charismatic. And that will cause a lot of people to want to follow them, right? Because I mean, who's going to want to follow a person who's unlikable? And, and that's why I'm saying a lot of the figures we're seeing today where people are saying, oh, that person could be the Antichrist. No, those people are not likable. I believe that when the Antichrist reveals itself, this will be a person that people on the right and left will love. And there will be no denying that this person is a quote unquote good person that we should all stand behind because they are going to be able to persuade people on both sides. So what this video is basically saying is that things will progressively get worse in the year 2024, which will more readily usher in the spirit of the Antichrist. And what I did in this video was I pointed to specific things of why the Antichrist will more readily be revealed in the year 2024 when we're looking at Pompeii and how they're planning to have that rolled out in major Whole Foods stores and the significance of the numbers, two plus four, and other things I talked about in the video as it directly relates to the year 2024. And I wanted to just kind of bring that all together in addition to what they said so that we can just start preparing because the year 24 does have some significance. And I'm not saying that in the year 24, there's going to be an actual person who comes out and everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, look, it's the Antichrist. But I too believe that it will, the year 24 will continue to prepare us for when the Antichrist does reveal itself. So as things intensify, people who are on the side of Christ and people who are on the side of right are going to become bolder in their faith. They are going to start to rise up like never before, fighting against sin and evil, exposing sin and evil. And it is going to be equivalent to a lion protecting its cub. People are going to go all out to defend Christ and truth and to rid the world of evil. And we're going to see a battle like never before, because like I said, we are not just going to take 
this evil and corruption lying on our backs. I thought Lion of Judah put together a really good presentation. I thought they articulated their points very well, but I don't think these things are shocking because a lot of us, we knew it was coming and we know that things will continue to get progressively worse. But at some point, things are also going to get better because you're going to have so many people fighting against the evil. But I want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I'll see you on the next one.